WPSD Paducah. And I'm Tim Hall. In the news today, it's been a busy morning at the State Employment Office in Paducah as the GeneX Corporation began handing out its first job applications. This is the WPSD TV6 Newsbeat update. Good evening, I'm Polly Van Doren. A Livingston County judge had put a snag in the drive by some citizens to get a library there. People were pushing for a tax to pay for the library. And at 10, we'll have the story of some accomplished students from Meridian High School in Pulaski County, Illinois. Now this. Polly Van Doren, join us for news, weather, and sports tonight at 10. WPSD Paducah, where the news comes first. Live with your first look at the day's news, Vicki Torch, Ron Beaton, Paul Brown, meteorologist Cal Sisto, and the Newsbeat team. This is the 5 o'clock Newsbeat. And the world, a complete summary of the day's news. Ron Beaton, Luann Knipe, Larry McIntosh, meteorologist Cal Sisto, and the Newsbeat team. This is the 6 o'clock Newsbeat. I want to thank you all. This is very heartwarming, believe me. I just want to... Oh, I can't resist. I'm supposed to quit right here. President Reagan couldn't hardly stand to leave the stage of the Show Me Center today, at least not until he told one last joke. This is a WPSD Newsbeat update. Good evening. Coming up on Newsbeat tonight, Bonnie Schrock's Health Beat details the latest blow to the tobacco industry. Surgeon General C. Everett Coop says nicotine is as addicting as heroin or cocaine. We'll update the investigation into the infant found dead in a dumpster in Carbondale and have the story of a Marion, Illinois man arrested for cocaine possession. Now this. I'm Ron Beaton. Details on these stories and much more on Newsbeat tonight at 10. From Kentucky, Illinois, Tennessee, Missouri, and around the world, Ron Beaton, Luann Knight, Paul Brown, meteorologist Cal Sisto, and the Newsbeat team. This is Newsbeat Tonight. Good evening, everybody. Lake County, Tennessee authorities tonight are awaiting autopsy results on a body found in the Mississippi River. A body that officials say could be that of a missing Southeast Missouri State student. The third and final presidential debate is over now, and the election is just two weeks away. Coming up at 10, we'll hear from area experts on how the three candidates did. We'll also talk with two of the so-called spin doctors, Clayton Yider for the Republicans and Admiral William Crow for the Democrats. We'll see what they think about the debates, the campaign, and the upcoming election. Join me for all of the day's news, sports, and Cal Sisto's forecast first on Newsbeat Tonight at 10. From WPSD, you're waking up to News Channel 6 a.m. with Linda Hammond. Terry Reed and Ron Rose. Good morning, everyone. This is News Channel 6 AM. It's Tuesday, August. This is News Channel 6 Nightcast with Carol Rose, Lou Jaton, Mark Miller with Sports, and now News Channel 6 Nightcast. Good evening, and thanks for joining us. Weekends find many of us. At 6, working to make a difference. Good evening, everybody. We're glad you're with us. Topping our news tonight, a local response to a public health crisis. Seems like every few weeks there is a news story about overweight children with adult problems like diabetes and high blood pressure. Well, Western Kentucky School built a playhouse for a good cause. Good morning, I'm Fisher Thompson. And I'm Pam Spencer. News Channel 6 Saturday is next. Bringing you information to help you plan your weekend. This is News Channel 6 Saturday, working to make a difference. A holiday. 
Now, bringing you the information to help you plan your weekend. This is News Channel 6 Saturday, working to make a difference. Oh, old man winter just doesn't know when to quit. People around the region are waking up to a whole lot of snow this morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm Mary Blair. Well, we are activating Snowman 6 right now, so check out the top of your screen for closing information. We've been getting a lot of calls on that. Some rainy weather for Thanksgiving weekend. All that had coming up next. Local 6 Today at 5 starts right now. WPSD Local 6, your breaking news and weather authority. This is Local 6 Today. And we're starting here at the top of the hour with the latest on a death investigation in Murray, Kentucky. WPSD Local 6, your breaking news and weather authority. This is Local 6 Midday. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Local 6's Brianna Clark. Your breaking news and weather authority with Mike Mallory and Chief Meteorologist Trent Okerson. You're watching Local 6 Midday. WPSD Local 6, your breaking news and weather authority. This is Local 6 at 5. There's a heightened police presence at state capitals across the nation. We're getting that information in, in any other productive way. Ways you can communicate and keep an open dialogue with your team. That's all next at 5. Your breaking news and weather authority with Shamaria Morrison, weather authority Kaylee Bowers, and Adam Wells Sports. You're watching Local 6 at 5. We'll show you how your donations will make a big impact in the community. Your breaking news and weather authority with Todd Faulkner, Jennifer Horbelt, weather authority Jennifer Rukavina, and Jeff Bidwell Sports. You're watching Local 6 at 6 in high definition. Challenging cold is on the way later in this week. Low temperatures may be dipping down into the 40s. We'll let you know when this is on the way hour by hour. Plus, the surprising result from Congress a day after comedian and advocate John Stewart made an emotional plea to fund health care for emergency workers affected by the 9-11 attacks. And how people in a local community are coping with the threat of rising floodwaters. 10 of 10 starts right now. WPSD Local 6, your breaking news and weather authority. This is Local 6 at 10. River levels continue to rise, and that means flooding remains a concern in Help Your Neighbors. And in this time of need, we'll take you to one church that's stepping up to collect donations for families that can't go home tonight. Ten minutes of nonstop news and your first forecast all before the first commercial. This is 10 at 10. WPSD Local 6, your breaking news and weather authority. This is Local 6 at 10 in high definition. A deadly day for weather in our area. Storms packed a powerful punch, leaving by WPSD Local 6, your breaking news and weather authority. This is Local 6 at 10. Now here's your 10 at 10. After 16 months of investigating, police make an arrest in an arson that destroyed a local courthouse. Your breaking news and weather authority with Scott McGee, Paula Bridges, Weather Authority Jennifer Rukavina and Jeff Bidwell Sports. This is Local 6 at 10. Now. WPSD Local 6, your breaking news and weather authority. This is Local 6 at 10. More accessibility for river boats. COVID-19 cases are rising in more than half the country. My health officials say the increasing number of new COVID-19 cases might mean a resurgence of cases is soon to come. That's ahead of 10. And we are tracking another cold front in the forecast for Thursday this week. We're timing out rain chances and much cooler weather for Friday. Coming up next, remember you're watching Local 6 at 10. Your breaking news and weather authority with Todd Faulkner. Jennifer Horvelt, Weather Authority Noah Bergren, and Jeff Bidwell Sports. You're watching Local 6 at 10. Tracking breaking news right now. This is Local 6 Saturday. Tracking breaking news right now. This is Local 6 Sunday. 
News you've missed while you were sleeping. Tomorrow morning, 4.30 to 7. Yeah.